Rain hits western Washington, bringing flooding concerns to area rivers, and it is proving for a messy commute. And that's why our Fox 13 weather team issued a weather alert day. And we've got team coverage tonight, but we want to begin with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Viegas, who is tracking not only a busy afternoon, but a really busy evening, Lisa. Yeah, it's been very active here. We're seeing all that accumulation adding up. This is where we're sitting right now, satellite and Dobler View, showing some breaks in this activity, which is fantastic. We could use it, but it is going to continue to be on and off throughout the evening focusing on the brighter colors that's where we're getting more of that moderate heavy rain picking up and what's not showing up on radar well the drizzle even without some of that green so yeah it's going to be light here on and off but it is going to ramp up for our early morning commute, but this is where we're sitting so far in the last 24 hours. We've seen just about three inches by Quinault Centralia, a little over two inches for you, nearing two inches by Granite Falls, Hoquiam, North Bend, over two inches of rain. Again, just in the last 24 hours, Olympic Airport, or Olympia Airport, excuse me, 1.74 inches. Milton, 1.7 as well. Nearing that inch by Kirkland, Everett, SeaTac, over an inch for you. And we are not done. So this is where we're sitting so far for our river. Uh, rivers and where they're set at with the stage. And the reason I want to show this is we are in for a big change, especially for tomorrow. Notice those brighter colors. This is the forecast here by tomorrow afternoon, even Saturday afternoon. We're looking at that bright magenta pink major flooding. Everything in the red, that's moderate flooding popping up in our forecast. So this is just one example. Skagit River near concrete it looks like we're going to crest by tomorrow afternoon and again on Monday in that major stage. The record luckily just shy of 70 inches. We're not going to get there, but something to watch out for when it comes to multiple Multiple flood warnings that are in place. In fact, we do have AJ Genival who is out live uh, talking a little bit about what we've seen so far and really just the totals. AJ. So right there is a flood watch in effect for the Skagit River where we are here in Mount Vernon. They have been impacted by floods historically being in a flood zone, but what you're looking at right here, the riverfront, the river walk has helped them get out of that flood zone. It was a decade and a half in the making, but basically helping the downtown area avoid floods. A big part of that is right here, these walls. If flood waters start coming up, if the water gets too high, they just fill these walls out. Something that used to take hours of time, hundreds of community members laying down sandbags now can be done with just a few people. And again, helping the community stay dry. That being said though, when you hear that there is a flood watch in the area and you live right down the street, it can still be a little concerning. And we live just right on the other side of the dike. And so when the river was flooded or higher uh, a few weeks ago, it affects the groundwater. Like in our house, we have a really, really old house. And so it, you know, came up like through our pipes and stuff. Um, but if it were to flow over the dike, I think we'd have an, a, a little bit of a problem because we're on the first. We have a two story house, but the first level. I heard Lisa uh, talking a little while ago concrete is going to crest on Friday. That helps out the people here in Mount Vernon as they're down the river. They crest on Saturday. So what happens in concrete likely will happen here, helping them get prepared for what might occur in this area. That being said, if you need any help, if you need sandbags, the county has areas where you can go and pick them up. If you need information, reach out to the county. Reporting live here in Mount Vernon, I'm AJ Janivelle for Fox 13 News. AJ, thank you. To the South Sound now, where we're seeing some rain as well, and that's where we find Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee. And Jen, you're at an intersection where we have seen major flooding before. We're at the intersection of Pacific Avenue and South 26th Street, and it was a problem area just a couple weeks ago. There was flooding causing issues for drivers, and you can see it's clear now, but we want to take you to video from a couple hours ago, and you can see water spitting up from the road like a fountain. There was some minor flooding, but Tacoma Public Works was here to take care of that issue. The road was back to normal shortly after. A spokesperson with Tacoma says crews are cleaning and checking areas that typically have issues. Locals we talked with say they're ready for the rain to clear up. It's a lot of rain, a lot of rain. It just keeps coming on down. I'm hoping it's going to stop sometime. <laughs> We're thinking about moving to Arizona. <laughs> You can't live with it and you can't live without it because yeah. we love the rain, but we don't like the torrential rains that we've been getting lately. 
Now a look at Interstate 5 earlier today during that evening commute. You can see people were driving considerably slower. Washington State Patrol says troopers responded to more than 40 collisions in Pierce and Thurston counties. That was the latest update at 730 tonight. They're warning drivers to be careful on the slick roads and ponding water. Our drivers on the roads to just stay safe and uh, reduce their speeds, increase their following distances, and make sure to stay away from distractions. Now you're taking a look at the Tacoma skyline from earlier today. You can see that thick fog settling in over the city. A spokesperson with Tacoma says crews, extra crews are on standby on the chance that this weather creates more issues around the city. For now, reporting in Tacoma, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News.